All right, so this is our unboxing and uh, basic setup uh, of a DaVinci uh, Mini uh, Wireless Plus uh, XY, from XYZ Printing. I contacted uh, the uh, manufacturer and spoke to them about uh, the Mini uh, Plus and uh, the Junior and their full-size product, the Pro, about qualities and speeds and so on and so forth. Uh, and we were told that the Mini is actually the fastest of all of them and is also the newest of all of them. They're all very similar, so there's not a great difference between them, but the Mini is not some stripped down version. Uh, the Mini is simply a smaller version that only takes one color at a time. Um, that's about it, so let's pop this thing open. Okay. Okay, so in here we have Warranty card, DaVinci Mini setup information, nothing too exciting there. We'll pull all of that out. Uh, that's a sample of the extruded material. Um, I'm not sure what the yellow is for, but I guess we'll find out later. Power cord, I think. Yeah, power cord, power, power block. Yeah, standard kind of power block. Then there's a USB cord, uh, some pins. I don't know what these pins are for, but I guess we're going to find out. And um, some more of these. Maybe these are to unclog things. I don't know. I have no idea what the putty knife is for, uh, although it'll probably be obvious once we start setting it up. Okay, now here's the printer itself. Okay. Okay, so pull the bag off. This says remove all four clips. That'll be pretty obvious, I'm sure, once I figure out what they're talking about, which I don't know. Remove all four clips. So this is a side view. So I assume it's talking about this tape. Pull that off, that's one. There's a whole lot of this tape around here, so that's not it. There's some packing in there I'm sure I have to pull off. Basically, I just want to pull this out, but I don't want to... Oh, there it is. This just slides up. Okay, great. So that just slides up, and you pull it off. Great. Now we'll pull off the... Uh... Yeah, there's lots of tape here to uh, disassemble, so let's get that going. blocks in here, but I'm not going to touch anything inside until I get all the tape off the outside, which there is a lot of. So again, I've never used one of these. I don't know anything about them other than from uh, my basic research that I've done online and uh, calling the company to talk to them about speeds and quality. So yeah, let's flip this around so you can see it. Let's get rid of the plastic. It's just clutter, I think. Yeah, just clutter. So this appears to be solid. Looks like we can just lift that up. Here again, okay, from memory, the input goes in over here, the input being the uh, extrusion material. There we go. Okay, now inside, I see that there are these pins here, but I'm not sure what to do with those. So I'm going to, and this feels like it's a door. Yep, it's a door. Okay. So that looks like it's a way to get into here. Well, let's pull this off. This says tape on it, so that's a pretty good clue you're supposed to pull it off. Yeah, there we go. These just pop off. Is there another one up top here? Oh, let me put this one back on. Let's get the door back on. I don't know why this door is here. I see over here there's another one, so I'm just going to pop that out. There's also another one up top. It's going to be very hard for you to see, but trust me, it's there. And it just, it'll just pop out, I'm sure. Yep, there we go. It's out, and then yep, there's another one up top here. There we go. So all four of those are out, and then the only thing I see orange tape on now is this little uh, the print head, I think, and I'm going to be very careful with that. So um, let's read with the. Uh, let's just flip this around now. 
take a look and see if there's anything obvious. As far as packaging goes, no, I think that's about it. Oh, there's this one here. So let's get this one off. Anything on the bottom? No. Nothing particularly interesting there. It says it's the yeah, XYZ printing, product of Thailand, serial number, so on and so forth, all the stuff you'd expect. Okay, this seems to be free flowing, so I guess that's a good thing. And let's get through the setup. Okay, so that's the printer. Let's put this down on the ground, and there appear to be two other boxes in here. They could just be packaging. Let's see. I don't know what they are. Okay, so I know what that is. This is the print head. That appears to be a print head. It's the, got a thermal warning on it. Yeah, like I said, I've never set one of these up, so uh, I'm really blind on this, but uh, I much prefer to just play around with things rather than read the instructions. So we'll get it as far as we can, and then we'll read the instructions. So that's a print head, I believe. We can get rid of that. Uh, I did notice uh, there was an alert that said, um, uh, keep all of this packing material in case you need to ship it back into the warranty period. But, you know, I didn't realize this came with uh, PLA, and uh, there it is. So the uh, Junior uses, or the Mini, I should say, and the Junior, use uh, PLA, which is a, um, I think it's basically cornstarch, but it's a biodegradable uh, form of um, uh, material uh, that you can extrude. And uh, I didn't realize it came with a full reel of it, so that's kind of, well, not a full reel, but a big reel anyway. And, uh, you know, that's that. So, um, let's pull the plastic off of this, because obviously it needs to go. Now, I'm concerned, this has a, uh, a seal on it here, so I'm going to cut this. There we go. But I'm going to be careful not to... Let's get rid of this. Not to uh, break this uh, little vacuum bag, because presumably you're supposed to put this back in it when it's not being used. Now, in our case, we're going to use this all the time, so it's not going to be much of an issue, but presumably, if they've gone to the effort of giving you a seal bag, that a resealable bag, that yeah, they're going to want you to reseal it. Yeah, and there's the uh, PLA. So that's great. Okay, nice reel. Okay, so we've got to figure out how to take this tape off here. Um, I was going to read the instructions, but decided against it. Because, again, I'd much rather just play with it and figure it out. So let's pull this back very carefully. And this appears to be a ribbon cable that's actually under there. So, and this just slides off. Yeah, that, that is what that is. So that's a ribbon cable. And this is just packaging for it. And presumably, this print head somehow bolts into this, and the ribbon presumably goes in there. This is just a guess, don't know, but it seems pretty obvious to me. So now I'm gonna go read the instructions because I really don't wanna screw up this. Okay, so I glanced at the instructions and it says to, well, it doesn't say to slide this over, but obviously you have to, and it doesn't appear to have any resistance, so I think that's okay. Uh, and it says to uh, put this on the guide pin. I don't see a guide pin, but I assume it's talking about this, um, the uh, slots here can go on the pillars here. They're not really pins, but anyway, that's just a guess. So I'm going to put that in and see if I, it doesn't say how to put it in. So I'm just gonna guess, oh, there, well, that, that works. You heard it just clip in. And then it says to put the ribbon on. I would have put the ribbon cable on first, but it says to do it after. So, okay, I'll do it after. Presumably they've done this before. So there's a slot at the top and I guess you just slide it in. Okay, I guess I guess that's it. And then it says to take this uh, guide pipe, which is, uh, I thought it was the extrusion material, but it's not, it's just a guide pipe, and put it from here, put it from here into the top of this unit where I was just pushing. So there we go, and I guess, there we go. Just push it down as far as you can, and uh, you'll feel it hit the end. And uh, there's a slot at the top here, so we can go back and forth. Okay, now the instructions say to remove this screw. So I'm going to pull it off, and then I'm supposed to insert some chip. I don't know where that chip is, so maybe it's in some of the packaging that I didn't see, but there's the screw. And then presumably this just separates. Yes, it does. Ah, and there's the chip. The chip is inside. Okay. Okay, so there's the screw. There is some sort of chip. 
I don't know how that's supposed to go in, but presumably it just clips in like that. It seems to just fit in there. Uh, it seems that it was already in like that, so I don't know what the point to pulling this off was. Okay, so it doesn't tell me uh, how to put this in other than to make sure that it's in correctly. It doesn't seem to fit in this way, so I'm going to assume that it fits. Ah, there, there's a pin here. That you can't see. I can barely see it with my eye, but there's a pin there, and there's a hole there. So there's only one way to put this in, and it does fit in nicely. So presumably this wasn't in before like that. So um, anyway, it says to take note of, the, of how that chip is in. So, okay, I've noted it. I don't know why. And then to reassemble this. So let's put this through. And then we'll just slide this back. Yeah. Oops, that chip slid a bit. There we go. There we go. We'll put the screw back in. So I don't know why or even if that was separated, but or not put in properly, but they said to pull it apart, so I'll pull it apart. Yeah, it seems solid. Okay, now it says to remove this panel from the side. Yeah, it says to push firmly on the left side, which this would be the left side. So the problem is I don't know if it's talking about this cover or the plastic behind the cover. So uh, I'm going to try both first. I'm going to try the plastic door first. Wow, you really got to... Yeah, okay, so this, what you've got to do, I can just see it. What you've got to do is you have to just, there's a notch here. This just has to be pushed back for enough. I could get a screw, well, I could do it with a screwdriver too. You can just push that in a bit. Yeah, there we go. And that just pops off. Then presumably the spool just fits in there. That's a guess. Okay, so that definitely moves that little bracket over here and it's labeled release arm, so that's a good sign. And then I've just got to drop this down, I guess, but I don't know how. Okay, so I'm going to pull this little cover off so we can see what's in here. And the answer, I think, is very little. Uh, it's just the uh, uh, the motor that's going to push it through, I think. Um, this is a bit dodgy. you got to give it some force. Not a lot. Come on. There we go. And this is meant to come off. You can see it's got a clip. And you can see here that... Uh, there's a spring here. Um, it says to fold the fold this down. I thought it had to do with pull, pulling this head down, but it doesn't. This is what it's talking about. So that took a bit of education. Then you grab your spool, and uh, the spool obviously has to sit in this way. Uh, it also has to wind in this way. So you want the you want the uh, filament coming off the spool this way, up from the bottom. So let's just put that on. And it just sits on there, yeah. Then um, it says to cut this at a 45 degree angle. You don't have to, it says, but it works better if you do. So it's pointy, and you put it in that little hole. Um, and then you pull the spring, this little lever back, and you start jamming it through until it gets to the um, uh, print head. So right now I can barely tell, this is very opaque, it can barely tell that it's in there. But let's just get this going. And I'm just going to push this until it stops working because I can't tell where it is in here because this line is so opaque. Okay, that it, yeah, nope, oh, still more. Okay, that appears to be it. So what I'm going to do now is just put this cover back on. This cover did not need to come off at all. It was just an explanation. I wanted to see what was in there and I wanted to see why this why this cover is intended to come off. So. Um, I still don't really know why, but at least I'm able to see that it can be taken off relatively easily and it's not a big deal, so. So there are hooks here, so you just hook it in and pop it in, there you go. Now, um, I think that's it for setup. So this thing is set up and ready to go. Uh, we'll do another video uh, showing how to um, get the software installed and get it running. Um, again, we've never done this before, so we'll, let's do it together. Thanks. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you.